This pie has been wrapped for three days. It doesn't get soggy. And it's just a great pie to make so that you don't have to have room in your refrigerator to store it. Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks and today we're making something new, Japanese pie. It is coconut, pecans, and raisins and an egg custard type filling. It's a lot like a French coconut, but with extras. I have to say it's delicious. We're gonna start with three quarter stick of butter melted in our bowl. We're gonna add one cup of sugar. This pie should be really good. Imagine it's like a pecan pie on steroids. <laughs> it's gonna be really delish. All right, so you got your sugar in there. Now we're gonna put in three eggs and we're gonna mix that together. So I'm just gonna crack my eggs one at a time. Put them in the bowl with my sugar. There's one. Two. And three. I'm going to take a wire whisk and mix this together well. I'm going to go ahead and put in a little vanilla. So, a cup of sugar, two eggs, three quarter stick of butter melted with a little vanilla. Now we're just going to fold in our pecans, coconut, and raisins. So, the recipe calls for three quarters cup of pecans. There's three quarters cup of pecans. Now we're gonna do a half a cup of raisins. I'm using the golden raisins. I'm using golden raisins. And we're going to use a half cup of coconut. Flaked coconut, okay? We're going to fold these ingredients together in this bowl. Can you be still for two seconds? We're going to pour it in our pie shell. We're going to bake it at 325 degrees for one hour. All right, I'm gonna get this in the oven. I'm gonna put it on one side because I'm actually gonna be cooking a casserole on the other side of the rack. So we're gonna put this on the left side here. Save room for a casserole and this will bake for a whole hour. I'm ready to dig into this Japanese fruit pie, so I'm gonna cut it. Still a little warm on the bottom, but I just can't wait. I've never had one. So, I'm anxious. 
Now this pie had a lot of eggs in it. And keep in mind it is still warm. But it's cutting good, even, even when it's warm. But it's just warm right in the middle. Okay. All right. Looks good. It's pretty. Let's give it a try. You can look at it on my fork. You can see the raisin, the pecans, the coconut, and the eggs set it up really well. So it's got a nice custard filling. Tastes like a, it tastes like a French coconut pie with pecans in it and raisins. It's really, really good. It's really, really good. I'm gonna have to make this for my daddy. Mmm. I can't quit eating it. All right, the great thing about this pie for Thanksgiving or the holidays is that you can wrap it up. This pie has been wrapped for three days and we've been opening it up and rewrapping it. I'm going to show you how great it looks after three days at room temperature. So the great thing is that you don't have to refrigerate this pie for Thanksgiving or the holidays when you got everything else in the refrigerator. I'm going to slice it and flip it upside down so that you can see that it's still nice and dry on the bottom. It doesn't get soggy. And it's just a great pie to make so that you don't have to have room in your refrigerator to store it. And boy, is it delicious. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Y'all make a Japanese pie. I think everyone will enjoy it.